You've seen how quick, easy and simple it is to set up the Kurong GT, both on the inside and the outside. And as a tourer, when you turn off the side of the road, this might be all you require. When you fly up there and you're ready to have a good night's sleep. However, if you're going to stay at the same campsite for a few days, we're going to now show you how to set up your awning. So here we are, ready to set up our awning. I've opened up the kit and wow, what a fantastic peg I've got in my hands. Nice and firm, plus the guy ropes. Good quality guy ropes, lots of them. And now I'm going to talk you through and walk you through our tent poles. We're going to come across here to the first one, which is our largest one. It's number eight, it's an upright, and it's our tallest one with the spigot at the top. Secondly, these are number four in your kit. You've got a spigot, a hook spigot, and they are ridge poles. One side's flat, and it's a number four. There's three of those in your kit. A couple of shorter uprights. They're number seven in your kit. Two short uprights. Now, these little beauties, just like a platypus, flat both ends. These are spreader bars, and it's number five. There's two of those, flat either end. Next one up, we have a couple of uprights with a C-clip. That's how it is, number seven. They're all numbered. And finally, we have some spreader bars, which is number six. C-clip, either end. So you can always refer back to your diagram, which is found in the pole bag, or just head to our website, easytrail.com.au. Okay, we're ready to attach the canvas and our awning. What we've done, just temporarily, is drop the centre bow down so we can get to our Velcro strip and the zip. So here we are, and this is where you might need a hand with your camping buddy coming in to play. So this is the zip and the Velcro strip. Find the corner. Goes into the zip. Away we go. So just reminding you all to drop this centre bow down. Ta-da! And there you have it. The canvas is attached with both Velcro and a zip. The canvas is all set up. Let's grab our ridge poles with the hook spigot. Now, start working away across. Hook them in to the eyelet. There we are. And the best tip is to just drop them down so they don't go anywhere. Fix that up later. Work your way down. So all three ridge poles are in. And I've dropped them down, got our canvas attached. Now it's time to get busy with our tent poles, our uprights, and the spreader bars. And this is where you call it a mate. So come on back in. Let's go. Spreader bar for you. Also our first upright. That's an number seven. I'll bring over the ridge. Got an eyelet there ready to go. Bring it up. Slot it in. Over we go with our canvas. The eyelids. Push this up. Just lock it in for that. And work our way across. And then we start doing the adjusting. Get the width right, the depth right, and firm it all up. You've seen how easy that was with a bit of assistance from a mate, and it's firmed up beautifully. We've done a bit of adjusting, but now to really firm it up, we're going to use our spreader bars. So we're going to show you what to do with these spreader bars, and then our final C-clip uprights that are wrong by my foot. Keeping the T-bolt downwards. Always have it downwards so it doesn't interfere with the canvas. Loosen it up and bring it over. There's one, slight adjustment. Beautiful. Head over to the other side for the final spreader bar. upright, 
lights. Just clipping into here. This is all for your awning. It's all part of the kit. These are number seven. Ready for the party. Tighten it up, your T-bolt, your final pole, and you're ready. All the spreader bars are in, our final uprights are up, the awning is absolutely firmed up, and we have got those guy ropes for additional bolstering and strength from those windy days. But right now, there's one more thing you've got to do, is get back inside the camper and push those uprights and the centre bow up again. Let's do that. Coming standard with the Kurong GT is a fully enclosed room. Floor, walls, what more do you want? Another bedroom. So I thought I might put up one wall for you. They all go up the same way. I'll show you now how to place the wall up.